Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, nice to see you again. So, as of right now, it's just after 4pm on the 5th of March 2024, and Facebook is down, Instagram and various other things as well. And it got me thinking, where is everyone going to go if they want to argue about fish? So, as a public service provided by me here at your friendly aquarium YouTube channel, I thought I'd make some contentious statements and give you a chance to argue about it in the comments. To facilitate the venting of some range, because I'm sure it's getting all pent up with nowhere to type your angry comments, I thought I'd just make some daft statements, like, for instance, Amazon puffers are quite happy living alone, one to a tank. Uh, parrot fresh are a great idea, hybridisation has no side effects or ill benefits. Corydoras don't need a soft substrate to live on. Now, obviously I could just sit here all day and just reel off things that people say which you're a bit like, oh, that's a bit questionable. But it made me made me think a little bit about where do we get our information from? How do we critically assess or critically think about the research that we're doing? So we want to keep a fish tank. I'm assuming all the fish tank people are here rather than just random people worried about where Facebook has gone. Um, you, you research on the internet and your go-to places are Facebook. It used to be forums. It might be... YouTube channels like this one, and unless you're going to multiple sources and comparing that, you're going to get opinions rather than facts a lot of the times, because unless you're looking at scientific journals which have been peer-reviewed and assessed and published, that you can see there are actual facts there, it's opinions. And opinions are like, well there's a saying that goes with that. The Corridoras one is a good one for me. So, for instance, on my last live stream, quick plug, every Friday at 9pm UK time, we do a live stream on this channel. Come along and join us. Um, I, we got onto the subject of talking about Corridoras and someone asking about Substrate. We referenced the Aquarium Co-op video where he had gone to the Amazon, found Corridoras living or in the area with some sharp gravelly substrate and made the video saying, oh, look, see, they don't need that which, because he's a big channel, that's got some wide reach there, so that becomes folklore. Uh, that's it. Corridors don't need sand substrates. And I myself also thought, well, oh, yeah, that's interesting. Great. They don't need that. Didn't think about it any more than that. But when we discussed it on my live stream, turns out some real Corridorus experts have some issues with that and think, well, maybe that's not the case. But I won't go into the... I don't think Corey from Aquarium Corp was doing that maliciously, but just because of his position, anything that he says can be taken that way as gospel, um, where that isn't necessarily the case. So it did get me thinking about how do these myths get out there and how do we best, as a community, avoid falling into those traps again? So there's a few ways you can go with that. You can either just say, well, I trust this person, so... Graham, he, he knows what he's talking about, so if he says a thing, I know that's going to be true. Now, I am Graham. And I know that I get things wrong all the time, so I'm the first to hold my hands up and say that that's not possibly the best way to go. And a lot of people who don't think they're ever wrong, they're sometimes the ones that are wrong more often than not. I don't think they're being malicious, and I don't think anyone's deliberately going out and spreading bad information, but there just might be... Time might pass, more information might come to light where someone gets more information and can add to a previous theory and say, well, that might not be the best idea anymore. So I like to look at lots of different sources um, and I would encourage everyone to do this sort of thing where you can you can look at your favourite YouTubers, you can look at your favourite um, Facebook groups. There are Facebook groups that are set up seemingly to discuss the same things who have polar opposite ideas of how a thing should be done. Um, it, for comedy value alone, I think it's worth researching some of those. But sometimes you do need to look at different sources, and I don't just mean different people on the internet, because if you look at five different YouTube channels they'll tend to be relaying the same information over and over again very few people on YouTube have actually gone out and done any of the scientific study, but that doesn't mean that there's no good information out there please keep watching my videos scientific papers can be dry and hard to understand um, so it, it is difficult to find that balance that's why I think places like um, forums, Discord servers full of enthusiastic amateurs or hobbyists, Facebook itself can be good because you will get a discussion. If you can cut through 
the level of rage and ire and get to an actual consensus somewhere. Sometimes you can get some good information. So I thought this might be a good opportunity to ask some questions about what do you suggest when you're researching a new fish? Do you go out and just watch a couple of videos on a subject and make your mind up? Do you inherently trust one source over another? Are there some go-to websites, forums, um, publications that give you the best information? Or do you rely on friends, groups? It could be fish clubs, things like that. Any publications, magazines that you're into. I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to gather some resources. Put them down in the comments. Let us know what you think. I'm going to shill and encourage you to join my Discord server so you can share them there. Because I think that we've got some clever people in there, some experienced people in there. And that's the kind of mix that I go for. Someone who is experienced, because experienced is usually good, falls into two categories of experienced being I've done this forever, therefore I'm right, or I've done this forever, therefore I've learned. There are, those two can be very different. There can be clever people who have done some research or critically thought through the things themselves before coming up with opinions and happy to share them, and everything in between. So how can we help the new people? Because as a fish keeper, as you're a fish keeper, all we want to do is expand our hobby and make it bigger and better. Uh, not only for ourselves to be able to enjoy it more, but for the fish to enjoy it more and live happily ever after and just have a generally good time. So I'm sure I've used a clickbaity title and thumbnail, and apologies for that, this was a bit of a daft idea, a last minute thing. Uh, kind of thinking about the power of these things, like if you put out a clickbaity title and thumbnail and draw in a loads of people and then they believe what you say, that just it's like a, a rolling stone that gathers moss. No, that's not what it's like. It's like a snowball that gets bigger. I'm great at analogy. More about how are we furthering our hobby, I guess is where I was coming from. And, and it is an interesting area and it is an interesting bunch of ideas. It's something that I think is worth exploring and talking about, so I am interested in hearing your comments. What do you think about this as a subject in general? Let me know in the comments, but also come and join me on a Friday night at 9pm. Most Fridays we do a live stream. It's a bit more freeform than just talking about fish stuff all the time. But we do occasionally cover some fish stuff, as well as quizzes and games and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I'm interested in what you think about this because this is the kind of thing where you kind of get information overload from the internet. It's not just in fish keeping, it's, it's in everything. You need to know how to vet your sources. And I'm interested to know how you're vetting your sources, what you're believing and why, what you're not believing and why, because it helps everyone, whether you're experienced. I research stuff all the time. I've been keeping fish for years and years and years. There is a certain mindset of people who would say, that means I'm an expert and I don't need to look anything up anymore. I don't feel that way. Um, how do you feel? How are you doing it? It's just random things bashing about in my brain. As always, come and join me on a Friday night. Uh, thank you for watching. Let me know what you thought. Click a like, click a thing, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!